As a water horse from Welsh mythology, Seffeldwer is said to be a beautiful creature that resembles a horse, but with webbed feet and a fish-like tail. Its coat is said to be a shining black or white, and it is often accompanied by a mesmerizing aura or mist. Seffeldwer is known for its ability to lure humans onto its back, only to drag them underwater and drown them. It is also said to have the power of prophecy and can bring luck or misfortune to those who encounter it. The water horse is typically found near rivers, lakes, and other bodies of water, where it can move both on land and in the water. Its natural habitat is the water, where it is most comfortable. There is no specific information on how Cephaldwar is born or reproduces, but it is believed to be a solitary creature that does not interact with others of its kind. The purpose of Cephaldwar is unclear, but it is believed to be a creature of myth and legend that serves as a warning to those who are not cautious around water. It may also be associated with the power of nature and the unpredictability of the natural world. It is unknown whether or not Cephaldwar sleeps, but it is typically encountered at night when it is most active. To ward off Cephaldwar, one can wear iron, as it is believed to be repellent to fairies and other supernatural beings. Avoiding bodies of water at night can also help protect against encounters with the water horse. Surviving an encounter with Cephaldwar involves avoiding its lure, and if caught in its grasp, holding onto its mane tightly and refusing to let go. It is also important to be mindful of one's surroundings and avoid situations where the water horse may be lurking. To trap Cephaldwer, one can use a bridle with iron bits, as it is believed to be repellent to fairies and other supernatural beings. Another method is to use a net or trap baited with something that the water horse may be attracted to. There is no specific information on how to defeat Cephaldwer, as it is considered to be a powerful and magical creature. It is best to avoid encounters with the water horse altogether.